John did no miracle, but all things. So he spoke the word, he knows the word, he has revelation, he has, but there is a miracle aspect of that revelation that is lacking in John's ministry. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4, he says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. It's Paul that is speaking here. He says, all my preaching is not to entice you. It's not to say, hey, right on, pastor. He says, but in the demonstration of the spirit. Did you hear it again? And power. You see, the, what I'm doing now as I'm preaching is the spirit aspect. The power aspect is, is needed too. Is needed. So the ingredient that the gospel works with is the ingredient called the spirit and the power. Kai. Can you give us this in an amplified version? He says, and my language and my message were not set forth in persuasive enticing and then pleasurable words of wisdom mm, very ple if someone is saying mm, right on fire right on he said but they were in demonstration of the holy spirit and power he says a proof by the spirit and the power of god jesus was approved by the miracles he did. If you go to John, uh, ask, I think, Acts of Apostle chapter 1, verse 3, he says, He showed himself to them after many days by many infallible proofs. So they could not even believe Jesus that he is the Lord after he resurrected until that we are infallible proofs. So Jesus proved to them beyond doubt. It's not message. Prove to them beyond doubt. If God has sent me, prove it. God has sent you. Prove it, pastor. He said, give us in King James so that it will be faster. He says to them also, okay, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. Being seen of them 40 days. Many infallible proofs. If you go to that first Corinthians chapter 17, chapter 1 verse 17, if you go to verse 18, he says, for the preaching of the, God of the cross is to them that perish foolishness but unto us which are saved it is the power so the message is the power of god 